Welcome to our devotional reflection for Thursday, December the 8th, 2022. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and this is coming to you from my office there. Uh, we are reading through, I am reading for you, actually, uh, from Oswald Chambers' superb daily devotional book, My Utmost for His Highest, and it has been a revelation to me this year. We're getting close to the end now. Um, not too many more days left in December. We're going to start uh, with, it's called, this one's called The Impartial Power of God for December 8th. It's listed down below in the description for the video. The scripture passage that Chambers uses for this one comes from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 14. For by one sacrifice he be, meaning Jesus, has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. Chambers writes, We trample the blood of the Son of God underfoot if we think we are forgiven because we are sorry for our sins. The only explanation of the forgiveness of God and of the unfathomable depth of his forgetting is the death of Jesus Christ. Our repentance is merely the outcome of our personal realization of the atonement which he has worked out for us. Christ Jesus is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. This is what it says in scripture. When we realize that Christ is made all this to us, the boundless joy of God begins. Wherever the joy of God is not presence, present, the death sentence is at work. It does not matter who or what we are. There is absolute reinstatement into God by the death of Jesus Christ and by no other way. Not because Jesus Christ pleads, but because he died. It is not earned, but accepted. All the pleading which deliberately refuses to recognize the cross is of no avail. It is battering at another door than the one which Jesus has opened. We say, I don't want to come that way. It is too humiliating to be received as a sinner. There is no other name scripture says. The apparent heartlessness of God is the expression of his real heart. There is boundless entrance in his way. We have forgiveness through his blood, that is the blood of Christ. Identification with the death of Jesus Christ means identification with him to the death of everything that never was in him. God is justified in saving bad people only as he makes them good. Our Lord does not pretend we are all right when we are all wrong. The atonement is a propitiation. It's a payment whereby God, through the death of Jesus, makes an unholy person holy. Let us pray. Father God. Thank you for the payment. Thank you for the great exchange that you did through your son on the cross, taking away things from us and crediting things to us that we never deserved, taking away our unrighteousness, which we obviously earned and giving you Christ's righteousness, giving us Christ's righteousness, taking away our sins, past, present, and future, and giving to us, installing in us the complete sinlessness of Jesus, taking away our, our just guilty verdict before you, Father. We, we are sinners, and we deserve to be, to be declared sinners. Um, and you make us just innocent. You give us a just innocent verdict before God. We deserve the punishment we should have earned because we earned every single inch of it with every one of our sins and yet you have provided the satisfaction uh, 
that Christ earned for us. You, you have received the satisfaction Christ earned for us. We didn't do anything for it. And you've, you've taken our alienation from you, Father, and you've adopted us into your eternal family. It's amazing. And we can't get past it. We can't get around it. So we must praise you for it. And we do, in the name of Christ, your Son, our Savior, our Redeemer, our soon returning King. Amen. Friends, thank you for spending some time hearing the words uh, that Oswald Chambers wrote in his book and uh, reacting to them along with me. And until we are able to be together again tomorrow for another devotional request, reflection, I bid you, in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom.